Hi guys, welcome back to Medi Vlog. Today we are going to discuss about intestine, gangrene intestine. So this is gangrene intestine. As you can see, this is full of black color discoloration, uh, and the other things are there. Let us see. So first is identification. So identification is giving identify giving reason. It is a mountain specimen of small intestine measuring around 15 centimeter. So you can know. Then uh, serosal surface shows blackish discoloration. Inner mucosal folds are flattened, showing thinning of the walls and blackish discoloration. So uh, you are maybe not be blackish. You can look brownish maybe. Then uh, about the other questions are like gangrene. Define gangrene. As all of you know, necrosis of the tissue associated with superadder putrefaction. This is gangrene. Therefore, the types of gangrenes are dry, dry gangrene, wet gangrene, then gas gangrene. It is a variant of wet gangrene. Then the sites of wet gangrene and dry gangrenes. It is important. Uh, dry gangrene commonly these are limbs affect the limbs. Example, toes, feet, etc. Then wet gangrene. It occurs in most tissues and organs. Example, bowel, lungs, mouth, cervix, vulva, etc. Then the complications of gangrene intestine uh, like low blood pressure. Rapid heartbeat, shortness of breath, abdominal pain is made. Uh, so you, you also look for the idea of pathogenesis of gangrene. So, okay, uh, all of you know. Blockage of arterial supply, blood supply, sites of red infarcts and pale infarcts, other questions like this. Uh, red infarcts uh, are seen in soft loose tissues and are caused by pulmonary arterial obstruction or by arterial or venous occlusions, mainly in lungs or in intestines then pale infarcts is due to arterial occlusion and are seen in compact organs like kidney heart spleen etc so the other questions are like types of necrosis as all of you know necrosis there are five types of necrosis so first let us look about necrosis it is a localized area of death of tissue followed by degradation of tissue by hydrolytic enzymes liberated from dead cells and accompanied by inflammatory reaction uh, this is the definition of necrosis. Then types of necrosis are coagulative necrosis, liquefactive necrosis, caseous necrosis, fat necrosis, fibrinoid necrosis. So just give I, I am giving small few points about these things. You uh, you can read this in the textbooks while you study. So coagulative necrosis which is the most common type. Uh, it is because of denaturation and coagulation of proteins in cytoplasm. Uh, microscopy is like nucleolus is uh, nucleolus loss but cellular outline is pre pre preserved so dry gangrene burns etc then liquefactive necrosis is the cellular destruction of hydrolytic enzymes Hy cellular destruction by hydrolytic enzymes due to autolysis or heterolysis and occurs in abscesses brown infarcts pancreatic necrosis wet gangrene etc other is caseous necrosis it is uh, the combination of first, first, first and second is coagulated necrosis and liquefactive necrosis. Another one is fat necrosis caused by the action of lipase on the fatty tissue. Then fibrinoid necrosis, it is the fibrin or fibrin like structures is deposited in the necrotic tissue. So, these are some questions that I got. So, you can look, go and refer your specimen which is available in your college so that you get familiarized familiarized with the specimen so thank you guys have a nice day and uh, if you like the video please share it to other your friends so that they can also know what are the things that we should keep in mind while studying these uh, topics uh, so if you like please subscribe and Thanks. Wow.